there must be a place. I just got off a call with a client and we discussed how there must be a place on this earth where everything's good and and everyone's nice to each other and it's it's a beautiful place to be and and all that and and we joke that it's the Netherlands maybe that's where we need to go and maybe they do have some stuff figured out uh, but we really uh, what we really got down to was that uh, that there must be a place on this earth where there's health care uh, that's affordable uh, for each other uh, there must be a place where people are just kind to each other where there's no road rage and uh, people will just let you in imagine that there must be a place in this world where there's no food deserts and where uh, people grow their own foods and they gather together at community gardens all the time. And there's these beautiful indoor places maybe where there's cold places where we grow food affordably and, and uh, organically that's healthy. And uh, there's plenty for everyone. Imagine that place. A place where it's okay to lose your job and, and be okay for a little while financially. A place where a community can come together to help raise kids together. Imagine that. A place where it's all about uh, being versus doing. A place where everyone's not so stressed out that they need psych medications to just get through another day. Imagine all this. Imagine a place where we can just exhale and not be so uptight all the time, where things are so tight, where the culture tries to get as much as they can out of you, financially and otherwise. Imagine a place where holidays aren't a time of overconsumption and credit card debt. A place where things get more simple around the holidays. A place where people gather together and, and just take it easy together. Um, so what we realized is, uh, you know, when there's a political election, people think, uh, oh, I'm going to move to Canada because things are so messed up here. Stuff like that. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not necessary. Maybe uh, this place of okayness, this place of, of connection and health isn't a place out there. Maybe it's a place that needs to be discovered in here. Uh, but it's not easy. So no wonder why we think we can force change in the world. We look externally. We think if we could just get a different political leader in there, if we could just change a law, um, if we could just, right? If we could just be just. And that's great. Go take action out in the world. But we can't force change from an unconscious place. What we need to all do is continue to gather and awaken community and to return and go through what they call the dark night of the soul. I see it every day. Of course, we want to go look externally and blame others and blame systems. But what we need to do is go through our own trauma, our own pain, our own heartbreak, our own fears. And when we're brave to sit with that on our own or in sacred community, we can go through all the confusion, all the layers, um, all the sick beliefs that we've been taught by a confused culture. And we can take the seat of the witness, we call it. We can just step back and watch the appearances of our mind in our world rise and fall and just relax and rest in presence. And this isn't lazy. This isn't disconnected. This is the most connected we can be. Go back to our heart. And from that space of observation of our own experience, we can let go and we can drop back like Michael Singer teaches us, a non-dual teacher that I love. Drop back and then you land in your true nature, which is perfect, whole, and complete, which has always been that way, which could never not be perfect, whole, and complete. And from that place is where we create this heaven on earth. It is not a place out there. It is not something happening to us. It's something that we are co-creating together from a place of awakening. And that's what this community is all about. Awake, mindful, living. I love it. This is my life. This is what I do. And this is just a tiny part of our community, right? There's so many of us out there that are doing this work, that are gathering people together uh, in these containers of, of self-love and awakening and health and holding a vision of what this world could be. So let's get together. I happen to have a festival coming up, <laughs> Awake Festival, and it's October 1st through 3rd here in Evergreen, Colorado. But it's really not about my festival. <laughs> It's just one little opportunity for us to get together and hold this space. So if you can make it, great. If you can't, I have retreats all year long, and there's thousands of people just like me that want to see us all be more happy and peaceful and at ease, and that know, I think, that the answer is in here, and that we just have to slow down, unplug a little bit, rediscover our truth, perfect, whole, and complete, our perfect nature, and then we bring that out into the world. Let's do it.